How's it going, guys? Welcome to this week's edition of the Weekly Chirp. I'm your host, Stephen Hellman, and before we dive into any of the Eagles talk, uh, I might be on IR for a few days. I'm gonna, I have a herniated disc that I'm going to be getting removed tomorrow morning, so bird buzz might be coming a little late. It might not happen at all. I'm supposed to be like out of work for a week, so we're going to we're gonna see how that goes. I'll keep you guys posted on it. I don't think it's a, it's not a major surgery, but it's definitely something that's going to take a little time to recover. Um, I've been having trouble with my back, just kind of like walking around and stuff like that. I can run and play sports, but it's just like, it's a very weird thing. It's really hard for me to like stand up straight. So I want to keep you guys posted on that whole or ordeal, but I don't think it should be a big issue, but let's go, but let's go to the Eagles now. Let's talk about the Eagles. Um, I want to talk about salary cap because there's nothing going on this week. This week's so boring, so I need to talk. We need to talk about something. And I, I read an article today on a CSN Philly, and what it said was, if we cut Mark Sanchez, we save three point five million dollars. Where can we do that? Where can we do that? I think everyone would be on board with that plan. The other interesting thing is, if we cut Darren Sproles, you're gonna save three point five million dollars. Would you do that? Would you comment below? Do you cut Darren Sproles or keep him? I see both sides. Of the argument. I, whatever the Eagles do, I'm okay with. But I personally think you cut them because that money could be used better elsewhere. I think you can invest that money in the O-line. You got DeMarco Murray and Ryan Matthews who you have a lot of money tied to. And then you could bring in Kenyon Barner and have him have him try and fill the void. Have him step into this third running back. Um, you know, maybe you're going to suffer on special teams a little bit. Special teams is definitely going to suffer. There's no question there. But I think you got to... I think you got to find a way to get it done and fill Darren Sproles' production and use that money and allocate it towards the offensive line. You have other needs. You don't need three dynamic running backs. It would be nice, but I do think it's better to to cut them, use that money elsewhere. Um, and last thing, Sam Bradford deal. Everyone's complaining, oh, we don't want to give him all that money. We don't give him all that money. Quarterback contracts in the NFL are a very interesting thing. It's not like a baseball contract where you where you where they signed a deal and that you got to pay them all that money. This is how it works. 2010, after Michael Vick had that year where he was just fire, he signed a six-year, hundred million dollar deal with the Eagles, 42 million guaranteed. So how it worked is the Eagles structured it so all that money that Vick was going to earn was going to be on the back end. So he has the $40 million guaranteed. The first year, he probably made like $13 million. The second year, he probably made like $16 million. If he would have, before, he, then he restructured his deal. But if he would have kept playing that deal, the Eagles could have, A, restructured him or cut him loose after he made all that guaranteed money. So how it would work with Bradford is, say he signs the same deal, six years, $100 million. First year of his contract, he's going to make $14 million. The second year, he'd probably make like 16 The third year, he'd probably make like 17 At that point, you would already hit the 45, 50 million guarantee that he would get, and then you can cut him, not lose anything. So I think people are confusing that. Oh, we signed him six years, hundred million dollars. You're you're paying this guy hundred million dollars. No, you're really paying him 45 million over three years. And then if you want to cut him, great. If he's if he's still here in three years, that means he's doing something right. So he probably is going to earn that 20 million dollar contract. So 20 million dollars in your contract. So. I think people are just, you know, arguing that he's not worth the money, but he was your best player last year. In, in a season on offense, he was your best player in a season where everything went wrong. I want to see what the guy can do. And you know what? You, how these deals are, are structured, you're not going to handcuff yourself too long. You're not going to handcuff yourself for, for like five years with this massive deal where you have to pay this guy. No, you're going to load all the money on the back end and give him that guaranteed money up front, and then, it, and then he'll have to earn that money with his play. So... I'm really hoping to see what happens. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted on my surgery. Uh, if bird buzz is going to happen this week, it might be a little late, but I'm going to try and get that to you guys. Uh, I have to burp. <coughs> there we go. All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, guys. I will see you all on hopefully Thursday, maybe Friday, um, and I'll keep you posted on the surgery. Thanks for joining me.